Hello again. This video is about normative ethical theory, very essential for business application and to solve ethical dilemmas. Normative ethical theory is proposed to prescribe the morally correct way of acting. So it's a mix of rules, guidelines, principles, and approaches that help us to determine what's the right thing to do. Because we don't have universal ideas of rights and wrongs about everything, we, we will have different normative ethical theories. Start from the most general level, we have the ethical absolutist that claims a universal application of moral principles. And we have the ethical relativism that says morality is a context dependent, so it is relative. Anthropological studies of culture argue that there are no universal rights and wrongs that can be rationally determined. So it depends on traditions, convictions, or practice in making decisions. In business ethics, the relativism is mostly applied in international matters, where you need to understand the different groups have different sets of beliefs that could be equally right. We are going to talk about this more later on. What is important you understand from the very beginning is we are not here to determine which approach is the best, but to recommend a pluralistic approach where you are able to identify multiple perspectives. The normative ethical theory can have religious or philosophical approach. In business ethics, both perspectives are very similar, focused to ensure the business is responsible, avoids doing harm, and contributes to social society benefits. There are just two main differences. First, the source of rules and principles. So the religion is based in an organized system of beliefs that determine right and wrong. Philosophical theories are based in the idea the human being rationality drives the ethical behavior. Secondly, the consequences of morality. In religion teaching, the decision-making consequence involve a new element, the spirituality, which includes salvation, reincarnation, or donation, for example. Now let's talk about the Western modernist ethical theories. Those theories are philo philosophically based, started from the ancient Greeks unto the modern philosophers of Milton Friedman. So let's start with the ethical egoism theory. First, it's good to know it's a controversial ethical theory. And why? Because it suggests an action is morally right if the decision maker is persuading his or her desires or interests. Well, if you watched our previous video about stakeholders, you can understand why taking or talking about own interests doesn't sound very affordable for business ethics. However, as I said, we are here to take a pluralistic view, so even the ethical egoism could have its relevance. This theory defends the responsibility of business is to provide profits to shareholders, and doing so, by freedom and cooperation, it results in public good, so good for stakeholders. Now let's talk about utilitarianism. This ethical theory states that the action is morally right if it results in the greatest amount of good to the greatest amount of people. So more benefits you have for more stakeholders. This is a traditional theory, still rightly applied in many business. It's enough to calculate the amount of goods and people. Let's think about a car industry example. To reduce a few deaths, imagine they needed to decide if invest a lot of money to introduce a new feature in the car. Doing so, they are going to increase the price to customers and reduce the benefits to shareholders. In the other hand, the annual insurance cost of the few deaths is much lower. So applying only utilitarianism approach, the decision should be don't produce the new future, right? 
still we have a few deaths that could be prevented. So what's to do then? Ethic of duty, also known as Cartesianism, is another ethical theory that could help to solve this question. So it says that the decision of right and wrong doesn't depend on the situation, but due to an obligation to follow the unconditional moral law. He formulated the moral law over the years, but in a sense, it includes the respect for person. Treat humanity as an end, never as a means to an end. So the ethics of rights theory is divided in two approaches, human rights and justice. The human rights approach determines all human beings have natural rights that should be protected, such as rights of life, freedom, and property. The human rights are basic, inalienable, and unconditional. The current big promoter of universal human rights is the United Nations, who provides guidance and regulations to preserve human dignity. The justice approach defends the simultaneous fair treatment of individuals to give what everybody deserves. Fairness means equal access to rewards and the positive and negative consequences be distributed in a just manner. The social contract is a hypothetical agreement between members of society that establish their rights and responsibilities on fair basis. The social contract is clearer when it is missing, when there is a whole new arena to establish rules, for example, the social media dilemma. Alternative normative ethical theories are less mentioned in business ethics books, but nowadays could have a lot of relevance to solve complex dilemmas. For example, virtual, virtual ethics is an approach that claims the personal virtue make a good and wise person capable to make moral rights decisions. The moral virtues is debated and includes temperance, courage, justice, honesty, mercy, and so on. The ethics of care is a feminist approach to ethics, differently from the traditional approach based on rules, principles, and justice. The ethic of care emphasizes the relevance of the interrelationships and the emotions as well as the rationality. Finally, the postmodern ethics is based on the moral impulse or gut feeling. So it, if you feel that something is wrong, even if it was not determined by law or a social contract yet, it should be wrong. In synthesis, we could see different approaches to make the moral right decision. We suggest you take the all these old theories to discuss. Make a variety of considerations with possible solutions and justifications. And then with this plur pluralistic approach, you are going to embrace human beings in the totality of their reason, emotions, and social experience. Thank you for listening. Until here and see you in the next video. Bye.